Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing these two waters. First up is Boulevard Sparkling Natural Spring Water. Next up is Light pH Water. So what these two have in common is they're both pretty big bottles. This is one liter. This is 750 milliliters. They're both purchased online. They're both pretty expensive. This one was $25 for a single bottle from salaciousdrinks.com. This one was $22 for a 12 pack. That's the minimum you, you had to buy. So this video is almost 50 bucks for me to, to do this review. Um, but they're both pretty expensive and they both have like weird spellings of their name, like shortened Boulevard and light water, almost like lift pH. And they both have high pH levels. The Light water has a 9.5. That's very high. That's a very high pH level. And the Boulevard has a 7. The Boulevard, I should mention, is a sparkling water. So, honestly, it's probably going to lose. I'm not a fan of sparkling waters. Um, even though this is, costs, like, 10 times as, as much per bottle, it's probably going to lose. Uh, I have to say, the Boulevard water is a beautiful bottle. They, like, engraved the letters into the bottle. So it's like a custom made bottle for this water. Um, this would look like a very high end bottle that you'd find at like a hotel or a very expensive restaurant. Um, this is actually, you cannot find this on, on online right now. I bought this on Salacious Drinks a few weeks ago and they're not really selling it anymore either. And I s looked at this company's website and they're not selling it on the website either now. So, um, I don't really know where you can get this. Um, this one you can get on Amazon or Boxed.com. This is from a company called Prince and Spring. They have a variety of like grocery items, and it's just a generic like brand that um, that they sell. This bottle really looks like a Smart Water bottle. Even the lid looks like a like a Smart Water bottle. An interesting thing about the light water is that there was like a typo in the Amazon product page. It says it has a lower concentration of hydrogen ions than tap water. Shouldn't it be it has a lower, not it's has a lower? You know, <laughs> it's not even in the product description. It's literally in the title. There's a typo. So I thought that was kind of weird. These are both not super well-known bottles apparently because I couldn't find anybody else like doing videos about them or anything. This had three reviews on Amazon. They were all positive, but it's just generic stuff that's saying like, yeah, it's a good quality. I liked it and stuff. Um, but like, there's no in-depth reviews of any of them. This one's Facebook page only had like 20 likes or something. Like it's, it's not that popular. And so, Anyway, let's open them up and do a taste test. This is sparkling, so hopefully it doesn't, like, bubble up and spill everywhere. Whoa, like, almost no bubbles at all there. There was, like, maybe two or three bubbles inside of there, and then nothing else. There was, a, like, a water reviewing website that said this had a nice medium amount of bubbles. Not too much, not too little. And this water review website gave this, like, four stars. So here we go. No smell. All right. I agree with that that medium amount of bubbles assessment. There was none when I opened it up, but it, there definitely was, you know, you could taste the bubbles on your mouth. Kind of like a champagne kind of bubble. Like a Yeah, like a medium, like a medium amount of bubbles. Um not harsh, not like a, not like a soda, but just like a champagne kind of bubble in your mouth. You can see it bubbling up a little bit. This is a pretty heavy bottle. Like obviously it's glass. Look at the bottom. Look how thick. There's like almost an inch of glass at the bottom of it. This would be cool to take maybe like on an airplane and then just use their, uh, their water fountains to fill it back up. 
just because you just feel feel fancy just carrying this around, or maybe at a gym or something. But then again, people people might think it's a bottle of vodka or something, but um, it's just water. That's pretty good. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of sparkling waters, but I just chugged like a ton of that, like like it was nothing. So maybe this is like that alone that I just drank that amount right away is kind of a good sign that this is a good bubbling water. Um, the Boulevard water is from 20 meters below ground. I generally like waters that are from deep inside the earth, like Summit Springs raw water, that Hawaiian water and Table Rock Springs are all from deep inside the ground. So that's a good sign for this. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, how do I open this? Yeah, even this thing is like similar to a smart water kind of lid. So here we go. Ah. Yeah, man, that's a good one. So this is twenty-one dollars, or with tax and shipping and stuff, it's like twenty-two dollars for a twelve-pack. So almost two dollars per bottle. That's really not that bad, actually. Because um, I think if you bought a bottle this size of smart water or, you know, high pH water from a grocery store, it would be about 2 maybe $3. And with this one, you get free shipping. So it's really not that bad of a deal. Like, I, earlier in the video, I was complaining about the price, but it's really not that bad. Yeah, that's a good sign too. No aftertaste. I just did a ton of that water. Like no bad aftertaste. No weird like taste in my mouth. It's vapor distilled, so there's no like there's not a high TDS level. It says it's infused with traces of potassium, calcium, and magnesium. It's all good. So this is a good water. I would um recommend trying it. It's the thick, thick plastics. So you're not getting that plasticky taste like you would with a Niagara or Nestle kind of water. Oh yeah, before I run out, I need to do the pH test. All right, you guys look at the chart and the color yourself and decide which pH level you think they are. They both look pretty high to me, but you guys decide for yourself. <sighs> I don't think I've ever drank that much sparkling water so effortlessly <laughs> effortlessly um this is 750 milliliters that's a lot of sparkling water and i just chugged it down the bottle for this is very minimalistic as you can see almost too minimalistic actually it's kind of hard to see some of the writing on the back of it when there's a white background behind it and uh their website the home page is just like one picture <laughs> there's no text or anything on the home page and there's a link to like a blog for this bottle on their website, but there's nothing on the blog page at all. Almost too minimalistic, but um, anyway. This is from Australia. This is from Tasmania, Australia. Right now they're having a bunch of forest fires in Australia. So I kind of feel like a jerk because they need a lot of water now <laughs> to put out the fires. I'm like taking water from them just to drink on the other side of the world. Um... But I think Tasmania is uh, further south. It's like on a separate island, like in the southern part of Australia. So it's, it's, I don't think it's being affected by the wildfires, the forest fires as much, um, if, if at all. But Tasmania, apparently it's about 40% forest. So hopefully it's not affected by the forest fires. Um, but it's... Because it's so much like rainforest and so, it's so separated from the rest of Australia and it's, um, it's a lot of nature down there. That, that adds to the purity of the water in uh, Tasmania. Okay, just finish it up. Alright. These both get a thumbs up from me. 
two thumbs up, two thumbs up. But I have to pick a winner to go into the next round. And I'm going to say the winner is the light pH water because I'm picking which water I personally prefer and I just prefer still waters. You know, if I had to pick one to drink day to day, I would go with the still one always. And um, honestly, I think this is overpriced. $25 for one bottle. It's, it's very fancy looking. You know, if you're a millionaire, maybe go out and buy this and try it. But for an average person, I would not recommend this. This is very similar to the Andes Mountains water, which was very good. Very, like, medium amount of sparkling and uh, good flavor to it. Yeah, like, you can tell these are both good waters because I just drank 1.75 liters of water. And I feel fine. Like, I don't feel sick. I don't have a bad aftertaste in my mouth. A little bit of burps from the carbonation, but other than that, I feel good. Um, that's kind of a good, assign a good sign of a good water. The water reviews are kind of coming to an end. There's only one more round one video after this. And then that's it. And then we're going to pick a final winner. So if you've been following along, I'm sure you're excited for that. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Congratulations. Light pH water. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right.